Polar coordinates. You should be familiar with the Cartesian coordinate system, also called rectangular coordinates, and with the definitions of sine and cosine. In this lesson, we will define the polar coordinate system and convert between rectangular and polar coordinates. When a car drives on city streets, we give directions in terms of blocks, and then we can find our destination if we know how many blocks to travel north or south, and how many blocks to travel east or west. For instance, you may be directed to go four blocks east, then three blocks north. Mathematically, we call this the Cartesian coordinate system. The x-axis measures the distance left and right, and the y-axis measures the distance up and down. However, when navigating in a plane or ship, there are no roads to go by, so we must rely on the compass heading and the distance traveled. For example, we can travel a distance of 5 in the direction 36.9 degrees. Trigonometry helps us convert between these two systems. If we begin with a point in the Cartesian coordinate system, the city grid system, we can find the distance from that point to the origin and the direction angle, the so-called polar coordinates. If we let r be the distance from the origin to the point x, y, then we can find r by the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, r squared equals 4 squared plus 3 squared. We can find the angle 36.9 degrees by using the inverse tangent. In general, the Pythagorean theorem gives r squared equals x squared plus y squared, so r is the square root of x squared plus y squared. The tangent of theta is y over x, so the inverse tangent of y over x will give the angle with one bit of caution. If the angle is in the first quadrant, the inverse tangent will give the correct angle. If x is negative, so that theta is in either the second or third quadrant, a better approach is as follows. Ignore any negative signs on x and y, so that the fraction y over x is positive. The inverse tangent then gives the first quadrant reference angle. You can then add that angle to 180 degrees if you are in the third quadrant, or subtract that angle from 180 degrees if you are in the second quadrant. This approach will also work if theta is in the fourth quadrant. To go in the opposite direction, we wish to find x and y if we know the length and direction. We know that the cosine of theta is x over r, and the sine of theta is y over r, so x equals r times the cosine of theta, and y equals r times the sine of theta. Here are two examples. You may wish to pause the video to work these out on your own. Converting to polar coordinates, know that the ordered pair is in quadrant 2, so the angle should be between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Your calculator will give you an angle of negative 18.4 degrees, which is a fourth quadrant angle. To find the second quadrant angle, subtract 18.4 degrees from 180 degrees. The conversion from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates is straightforward. To recap, to convert from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates, find the length by the Pythagorean theorem and the angle using inverse tangent. To convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates, x is r times the cosine of theta, and y is r times the sine of theta. 